Lord God. We come before you now, giving your name, glory, honor, and praise for who you are and who you are on this wonderful Lord's Day, this first day of the new week, Lord God. And we're praying first and foremost right now, if there's anything in our heart, in our hearts and our minds that is not like you, God, we ask that you remove it from us, Lord God, that you will forgive us of anything we've done in word or deed not pleasing to you. By way of commission or omission, Lord God, that this prayer will be acceptable in thine sight, Lord God. And we pray right now for those that are going out to worship this morning, that they take their relationship seriously. And if they have the opportunity to go to church this morning to worship, if they're not coming home from a work or they're not in a position of sickness where they can't go, Lord God, that you would deal with them and let them know that you said to your word that, Lord God, that you would have us to fellowship, Lord God, and come together. And, Lord God, in, the, in that in the last days that we should come together even more and forsake not the assembling of ourselves together, Lord God, because we're living in a time where without Christ, we're not going to make it, Lord God. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? And, Lord God, we're praying right now for those who can't make it to worship this morning, the sick and afflicted, somebody's in the hospital, somebody is physically sick, somebody is mentally sick, someone is impaired and unable to go. And, Lord God, we ask that you be with them and touch them, Lord God, praying for those family members all over the world, all over Facebook, all over the, my family, Lord God, that need a special touch from you, that need healing, Lord God, in their mind, in their heart, and in their soul, Lord God. And I pray, Lord God, as they, I was taught to pray in James, for you said, if there are any sick among you, let it call for the elders of the church, for the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. And Lord God, you said that the fervent and effectual prayer of a righteous man do availeth much. Bless my household, bless my bride, bless my unborn child, Nikolai, that is 17, 16 days away from becoming a part of this side of the world, Lord God, and I pray that the healing process in my in my bride and in my beautiful spouse that you have blessed me to have, Lord God, will be quick and expedient, Lord God, that she will recover, and Lord God, and that our baby will grow to be a healthy, strong man in society, Lord God, help me to be a father, renew my spirit, renew my skills, renew all of those things that a father needs to teach young men to become young, little boys, to become young men, and young men to become grown men of God, Lord God, for our I'm again facing another child coming into this world, Lord God. You've given me, Lord God, the job of being a good parent, and I thank you for that. I don't take it for granted. Continue to help me to provide. Bless the business, Bassist New Millennial Designs. Bless the ministry, New Millennial Outreach Ministries International, Interdenominational Church, as well as, Lord God, my, the ministry that you have given me in the call of my life. Allow those things that I do in those gifts that I have to bring resources and finance to in my house that I may be able to provide for those that you have set under me and around me. Lord God, and I pray, Lord God, that you bless my mother who's a caretaker now, who was being taken care of by my sister, but now is in a position to become a caretaker for her as she is afflicted in her body and in her mind right now. And I'm trusting you for deliverance and healing. Bless all those that are hearing this prayer that whatever they stand in need of, that they will be able to be blessed accordingly as long as they line up with the word and the will of God and with trust in you. Lord God, that these things will be done in the matchless, marvelous name of Jesus the Christ. And it is so. Amen.